morning, morning. It's Monday, the 15th week. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. One of our intentions today is a birthday blessing for Lori Michalowski. As we begin, let's reflect for a moment on the blessings we have, especially to be not only born into this life, but to be born into the next. For the times we doubted God, we ask God's forgiveness, and so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever loving God, direct our efforts according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of Exodus. A new king, who knew nothing of Joseph, came to power in Egypt. He said to his subjects, Look how numerous and powerful the people of the children of Israel are, growing more so that we, more than we ourselves. Come, let us deal shrewdly with them to stop their increase. Otherwise, in time of war, they too may join our enemies to fight against us, and so leave our country. Accordingly, taskmaster, taskmasters were sent over the children of Israel to oppress them with forced labor. Thus they had to build for Pharaoh the supply cities of Pithom and Ramus. Yet the more they were oppressed, the more they multiplied and spread. The Egyptians then dreaded the children of Israel and reduced them to cruel slavery, making life bitter for them with hard work in mortar and brick and all kinds of field work, the whole cruel fate of slaves. Pharaoh then commanded all his subjects, throw into the river every boy that is born to the Hebrews, but you may let all the girls live. The word of the Lord. A responsorial song, our help is in the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Had not the Lord been with us, let Israel say, had not the Lord been with us, when men rose up against us, they would have swallowed us alive when their fury was inflamed against us. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us. The torrent would have swept over us. Over us then would have swept the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who did not leave us, a prey to their teeth. Our help is in the name of the Lord. We were rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Broken was the snare, and we were freed. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our help is in the name of the Lord. My friends, may the Lord be with you. Let us be attentive to this reading of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, Do not think I've come to bring peace upon the earth. I've come not to bring peace, but the sword. For I come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and one's enemies will be those of his own household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever does not take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever receives a righteous man because he is righteous will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink because he is a disciple, and may I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. When Jesus finished giving these commands to his twelve disciples, he went away from that place to teach and to preach in their towns. The Gospel of the Lord. A few years ago, a classmate of mine from another diocese uh, shared a story with me that happened in the parish that he was assigned. It turned out these people moved into the neighborhood, and one of their children was two years old, and she was born deaf. And when they heard about it, they, they were kind of, they would get together on Friday nights, they would play cards or whatever, and they invited the new people over, and of course they brought their little two-year-old, but they would try to do all these nice things for the little two-year-old, but when they found out that she was deaf, they felt bad. Well, when the parents left with the two-year-old, they continued talking 
This time they weren't playing cards or anything like that. They were talking about what they could do. They didn't want the people to feel excluded, but that little girl was already excluded from so many things. So one of the women came up with an idea. I'm asking you, if you were in that little community, what would you decide to do? Would you send food over? Would you do what you could to help the people? Here's what they did. They decided that on Friday nights, instead of playing bridge, they hired a tutor, someone who would tutor them in sign language. And so they learned to communicate with that little girl. And as that girl continued to grow, she probably never felt excluded. She probably never felt unwanted because those people met her where she was at. And that, I think, is what the gospel message is always all about. God bless. For the opportunities we have to help rather than hurt others, we pray. For children, we may teach them, watch over them, guide them, and learn from them, we pray. For those who have the gift of speaking uh, to children who can no longer, or adults can no longer hear, we pray. And we ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have spread to give you, which earth is given and human hands have made, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to give you, food of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Friends, let's pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept your sacrifice in our hands for the grace of Lord in Accept your offerings, O Lord, and in sanctifying them, grant that we may promise that they may profit us, promise, uh, profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, grant that we may always participate worthy in these mysteries through Christ our Lord. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by, sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke the bread gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Some of the way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember Mary Ann Fino, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who is united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. Let's offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Make those who have nourished by this heavenly bread one in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May God's blessing continue to guide us in all that we do, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a good day, everyone.